So today I'm going to be doing a video on psychic attacks. Now y'all know I, I get straight to the point. So I don't like to waste nobody's time. A lot of these people that be teaching and giving information, they like to greet you and give introductions and talk about events and all this shit. I get straight to the point. That's just how I am. Okay, so anyway, a psychic attack is a negative thought form being projected towards an individual. Believe it or not, but some illnesses are psychic attacks. Now, I know this from personal experience because I have been psychic attacked a couple of times. And I know this shit for a fact. Okay, this ain't no belief. I know I will be going into that very soon. So some ways that you will know that you are being psychic attacked is if you know that you are a well-balanced person. Like you don't never fall, you don't never really bump any shit and hurt yourself. But out of the blue you start dropping shit, um, slipping and falling. Um, bumping into stuff, scraping your arm and stuff like that. Stuff that you never do. That's a sign that you may be under psychic attack. Another way that you may um, know that you're under psychic attack is if, now this is from personal experience. I don't know nothing about nobody saying this. I don't know nothing about reading this shit or none of that. Another way that you will know that you're under psychic attack as if you get a a strong sense of fear that comes over you for no reason just out the blue you don't even know why you're scared and the hairs on your body just stand up for no reason and you know that you're not scared but some reason your body is alerting you that there is danger this is a psychic attack, and it's a strong psychic attack that somebody is trying to do you fatal harm. Okay? Another way that you are, that you can, that you will know that you are under psychic attack is if you get a burning sensation, like in your ear. It ain't ringing or nothing. You just get a burning sensation, like a hot sensation. It ain't not to the point where it hurt, but you know you can feel the shit. And you get uh, something like a ring. It's similar to like a ringing noise, but it's burning. It's not like the ringing in the ear, like bing, but it's similar to it. You get like a, a simmer of a ring. Somebody is pissed off at your ass, and they thinking about you very intensely with ill in their mind towards you okay they could be wishing something bad on you or something like that but anyway this shit is penetrating your aura okay and your energy body your ethereal body is picking up on the frequency warning you is actually speaking to you in a sense, you know, alerting you with the warmth sensation. Kind of hot, kind of uncomfortable feeling. It ain't comfortable now. That's one way you know that you are under psychic attack. Well, that's another way. Now, this next thing that I'm going to say is going to be kind of complex. So, try to keep up with me. But sometimes, depending on the energy that you send out, Based off the based off the laws of attraction, the laws of magnetism. Because you send out a certain energy, the energy always returns to the sender or the creator of the energy. So you could actually be psychic attacking yourself, believe it or not. And a lot of the times this is what happens to people when you go to the core of it. 
So for instance, right, you have some people, they see these little black shadows all the time, a here and there. And these are negative en entities, okay, from other dimensions, low dimensions, based off a closed heart chakra that one may possess. And this sends out a magnetic current that attracts these beings into their aura. And these beings actually latches on to these type of beings or people that have a closed heart chakra. And they feed off the energy of these people and they also influence them. So you could be um, one of the people that just may well be bipolar as fuck. And this is a complex situation because you have shut your heart chakra and now you're acting um, like a you got a split personality. One minute you're cool, the next minute your ass um, getting an attitude over the most pettiest of the pettiest shits. Okay? And this is because you are being influenced because your heart chakra is closed. But now there is another flip side to this you can be un, under psychic attack and somebody could send a negative entity to you and you can have an open heart chakra but somebody can send um, these negative entities to latch on to you and just drain your energy so you'll be seeing these black shadow type looking beings uh, you see it like you can't really even see them but you just see these shadowy like black Figures around you every blue moon. Like you might see them at the corner of your eyes and shit. So there are method, methods, spiritual methods to remove these entities from a person's being. Okay? If you have an open heart chakra. Now if your heart chakra is open enough, they still can't fuck with you. Because your aura is too strong for them to penetrate. But you may have somebody that is highly... Um, well trained in the occult that still may be able to penetrate it so you may need certain um, I would say enhancers to strengthen your aura or your energy field such as tourmaline, Addison, Anox um, stones such as that okay to which are crystals and these ward off negative entities they hate it. They can't stand it. It's like a clean person being around a room full of shit. Literally. Like, boo-boo shit. They can't stand it. Okay? So these entities will flee. So, I advise uh, people that may see these beings, black little shadows, in their aura... Which are energy vampires sucking the life force from them. Because you may be tired. Don't understand why you tired. You may be drained. You may not understand the shit. But this is what it is. See some of y'all may have a well balanced diet. And all this. And yet you still don't understand why the hell you so tired. This is why. Okay. Because there is an energy. Negative energy. Or a spirit attachment. That is latched on to your aura floating all through your shit draining you so you must take a spirit bath in order to remove these entities you can take certain herbs okay put it in the tub I don't give a shit you got a boil of shit in the pot and then take the water out the pot pour it in the tub you can take some basil you can take some um bay leaf boil that shit in a pot Take you some sea salt or some salt with some iodine in it. Put it in the tub. Soak in that shit. Okay? Soak in it. Let it marinate. Just sit in there. Burn you a candle if you want to. Burn you a black candle because the black candle absorbs negative energy. So burn your black candle. You know, this is just, you know, the way I would do shit. So this is my advice to those that have been under psychic attack that have um, been a victim to this in this situation. 
So, but it gets even more complex. Stay tuned, and I'm going to get there. This shit gets very complex. So, this is a spiritual war. And you must have a defense mechanism. Because thoughts are things, especially in the fourth, fifth, and beyond dimensions. Okay? And psychic attack is in the fourth dimensions. Once you get in the fifth dimension, you you basically be above doing evil shit. Okay? So the fourth dimension is basically like the earth realm, the third dimension. Bad shit can happen. Good stuff can happen. It just depends on what energy you send out. So you must take caution because people still, or entities still can, even though you may not send out a certain energy, they still can try to harm you with some type of affliction. So you must take precautions, even when you do um, dwell on the astral plane, okay? So I would advise those that have been on a psychic attack, even when you sleep at night, put you a, a chain, there's some type of, I don't give a shit if you got to put a, if you got to sleep with a, a damn tourmaline necklace on your neck. Sleep with them, sleep with it on your neck. Or if you got to put some tourmaline in your pocket and go to sleep with it. Because once you come out your body, this will still be on your astral body. Okay, told it with you. And if you know how to, if you know how to have out of body experiences, or you have out of body experiences occasionally, Take that with you, these um, crystals with you that, that um, ward off negative energy, entities, you know. And there are also crystals that um, purifies the aura, such as angel corpse, okay, such as, I think it's called saline, something like that. You got quartz crystals too, and it's very powerful. But to me, quartz crystals, you must already be in your heart chakra in harmony with each other, in, in, in harmony with oneself, okay, in order to really take in the frequency of the quartz crystal because it is a very powerful crystal. So, anyway, when I say it gets more complex, it gets more complex. And I'm speaking from personal experience. Now, a while ago, I was laying in the bed, and I had my daughter laying beside me, right? And I had, I was in a fourth dimension. All I remember is this. I'm going to tell y'all exactly as I remember. And I knew I was being, I didn't know that I was being psychic, psychic influenced. By an entity that was meaning to cause me harm. See, these entities can make things appear that is not real. I don't think y'all hear me. So, for instance, right, I'm going to say this first so I can lay down a, a strong foundation. You have what we call thought, which is thought frequency. Sometimes you may think that you're thinking a thought, but it's not your thought. You're picking up on the thought of somebody else. Y'all ever just had a crazy ass thought out the blue and you know damn well when you actually think about that thought, you know damn well you don't think like that. You're picking it up uh you're picking up on somebody else's thought frequency. Because thoughts travel and sometimes we digest other people's thoughts. So get a book, it's called I think it's called Thought Frequency. Okay, I had it on PDF on my candle, but shit, the candle started working. I got to get it fixed. But anyway, it talks about stuff like that. So, as I was laying down, right, the craziest shit. Now, this what make this what um made me know that how can I put this? This what made me know that some illnesses. Uh, from a psychic attack. So I'm laying in the bed, right? My daughter laying beside me. And I'm on the fourth dimension because I'm just witnessing with my eyes. Now my daughter is asleep, physically asleep. And all I'm seeing is her making all this noise, kicking and screaming and making this noise. And it was aggravating the shit out of me. So, you know, I'm like, girl, 
take your ass back to sleep. And when I did that, what I noticed is that I sent off a negative energy. And all I could see is in the hallway. Mind you, I'm laying in the bed. But I could literally see in the hallway a being. Not an entity. Entity is something that you really don't know what the fuck it is, but it's something. This was a being here. Had arms, legs, and a head. But he had a long trench coat on with a hood over his head. The trench coat came all the way down to like his ankle. And it looked like he had a little smoke around him or something. A little fog or some shit around him. But I couldn't really see him. But he was like the like the movie or uh, the Marvel Hero Flash. He flashed through the hallway, through my door, in my room, and pushed me right on my shoulder, real hard to the point where it rocked my physical body. And that's when I woke up. See, these entities have the ability to manipulate your thoughts, so that you may send off a thought wave that it may attract a energy that they are looking to uh, produce towards you so in so many words they made me get they redirected my energy towards me and used it against me by manipulating my thoughts to be aggravated by my daughter which in reality she was not kicking and screaming and making all that noise you know during sleep hours because once the ent- once this being had pushed my shoulder, it rocked me, and I woke up physically. I basically went back to sleep, shit. Because when you're in the physical body, your ass sleep. But anyway, the real you was asleep. But anyway, when I looked at my daughter, I was like, well, shit. There's some bullshit. But my shoulder was still hurting. had like this tense pain in it. And I wasn't sleep on my shoulder or nothing, so it wasn't no... Maybe maybe you will sleep on your shoulder and your subconscious just, you know, feel that in that type of way. Nah, I was laying on my back. Okay, so one, she can't say that shit. Okay, so anyway. What I found out is this. Because on that same shoulder, it just kept bugging me for a week. That same spot. Every time I pick my arm up, I pick my arm up, it'll bug me. Okay. Every time. And I felt that. It felt like some type of. Tight. Intense. Tingly. Pain. Every time I picked my arm up. And I was trying to figure out. What the fuck. Then I finally figured it out. I was psychic attacked. Okay. I had figured it out. Like. Day after. You know that I was psychic attacked. So. I started getting the ball up under my arm. Out of nowhere, that same arm. The pain, as, as the ball started coming, the pain started going away. The pain went into right right up under my damn arm. It went right up under my shit. Okay? So, some of these illnesses that we receive are um, psychic attacks. They are evil, I would say, negative spirits. Okay, that has induced some type of shit, basically like a damn curse on your ass. So I wound up going to the damn, I wound up going to the urgent care because hospitals take too goddamn long. So I went to the urgent care and they said, yeah, you got a ball up on your arm. You know, I start squeezing shit out of it. That might have been a riser because shit start coming out. But anyway... And uh, they gave me some cream. Shit eventually went away. But bottom line is this. Some of these entities can manipulate your consciousness to the point where you send off an energy and they use it against you. Sort of like the video I saw not long ago where, where this cop, this black guy, he had a... Uh, he was trying to stop. He stopped his car or something from some of the stuff that was said from hitting another car. And the cops seen him slam on brakes. Okay, he pulled him over in the gas station. The cop was telling the, the black guy, you know, cut your car off. And the black guy was like, no, 
I'm not cutting my car off so you can have a reason to shoot me because the, the cop already had said he's got a gun. And he ain't even had no gun in the car. But he had one in the trunk, come to find out. But he didn't have no gun on him. So the cop was just looking for a reason to actually shoot the man. He was trying to make him send out a energy. Well, actually do when he presented energy. But he's trying to make him send out a false image. So he can redirect it and use it against him. Same way it is with some psychic attacks. Because that cop would have had said he went for his gun if he would have cut the car. So the, the guy was like, no, nah, you somebody else come cut it off. I'm not cutting it off. You see my hands. I want you to see my hand. And the guy was recording the whole time. So the black guy was recording. Of course, you know, come to find out the, the cop was a Klansman, KKK and shit. Just looking to exterminate somebody black and shit. You know how they do. And anyway, that's another story for another time. I, got, I made a video. It's called Why... The truth about why white cops get away with killing black melanated beings. Go check that video out and you will see the core of why they get away. But anyway, getting back on point. What you would need to do in order to protect yourself from psychic attacks. Is you would need to first take a spirit bath. As I mentioned earlier. If you forgot, just rewind the shit and listen to it again. I ain't going back over that. And you could also surround yourself with crystals, um, sage. Shit, just sage your whole house. Sage your room, sage your body, sage your whole body. Take a, a wand crystal, you know, something like this. Charge that motherfucker up, put it in the sun. Uh, I think this is saline or something like that. Salionite. I can't think of the word, but. Just look at it. Some of y'all know what it is. Charge it in the sun. And go all over your etheric body with it. This will cleanse it of negative entities. And if you have any attachments on you, it will cleanse it. Sometimes you can even hear a loud noise like... Yeah. Or you can hear like a, a loud... um Sound kind of like a crackling noise. Or a high-pitched sound. That is not a love tone pitched sound. And this is the entity being removed, taking his ass off. That's like basically streaming. Okay, take this, go all over your whole entire body with it. Or have somebody to go over your whole entire body. Don't touch the physical body, just focus on the energy body around the physical body, the ethereal body, or the aura. But just try to get it close to the etheric body. So you can, because sometimes these beings try to hide and shit. And certain, you know, little pockets in your energy body. So, this is another way to cleanse them of uh, negative entities. And then, you will want to, you know, do your ritual. Now, I ain't teaching y'all how to do no ritual. Figure that out on your own. I basically gave you one of the spirit bath ritual. Okay? So, but, what you would want to do is you would want to call on certain ancestors to protect you you know do some libations and shit okay and then um call on some of the ascended masters and you know ask for some type of protection something like that but that's what that's what you would want to do you know this is like putting on your spiritual armor i would say So, yeah, things like this can happen. And it has happened to my ass. Okay, I made a video a while back. It's called, um, I think it's called My Experience with Spirits. My Personal Experience with Spirits. Where I was talking about, like, how I was psychic attack. And uh, some being was trying to stab me. If you want to reflect on that go watch that video but and that's 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 how i know about the half standing up on your arm you you're being scared you get an urge of fear for no reason you know that's another form of psychic attack and i was talking about that experience in that video but again we must take caution because they are always watching as my auntie told me, 
She told me, and now listen to me now, y'all listen. My auntie died like 15 years ago, 12 to 15 years ago. Now I had an out of body experience, and I talked to her. We sat right on the couch, and I talked to Jill like I'm talking right now. And she told me, because I said, Auntie, I miss you. First, I told her I loved her. She said she loved me too. And I told her I miss her. And she said, Baby, we see everything y'all do. So they see everything you doing. Okay? They are one, where she was, with the all. Everybody um, don't advance to that level that she may have advanced to, or that she advanced to. So, these entities see some of them are waiting, and, you know, they're just lurking and waiting for you to send out certain vibrations and shut your heart chakra so that they can attach to you. So, guard the heart chakra. This is why the heart chakra is, like, the most important chakra. It is the gateway to the kingdom, okay? The Pineal Glen, a.k.a. Miniature Universe, all right? So, like, man, I'm telling y'all, y'all can raise the Kundalini all you want. I'm talking to melanated beings now, because Caucasians, y'all raise the Kundalini. If you ain't got that neuromelanin, sorry, but that shit gonna wind up being internal combustion. This is why the Bible says, for a day cometh that burneth as an oven. And the son of righteousness, S-U-N, son of righteousness, shall rise with healing in its wings. Because it's going to be an oven. People are going to be burning like a fucking oven. Like they in an oven. Internal combustion that can't take the Kundalini, a.k.a. Lucifer, a.k.a. Electrical Current, a.k.a. Holy Ghost. They ain't going to be able to take it. And this is going to be what the Bible is talking about. The day coming, they burning as an oven. But for those who can take the current, melanated beings, if your heart chakra is open, you will get the full splendor of this mighty current kundalini, and it will go through the heart chakra if the heart chakra is open. Okay? Now, if the heart chakra is not open, that shit going to go right back on down. Okay? And you will not become what you truly are, which is a Christ. Yes, this is what it is. So guard the heart chakra because it is the gateway to the all. And look here, I'm going to say this. If you call out some ascending masters, call out ones that have helped black people. Okay? Like Simeon Toko. If you need some protection, call on Simeon Toko. Simon Kambangu. Because Simeon Toko, from what I researched, with Simon Kambangu and another form. You can also call on Sheikh Amadou Bamba. Okay? You can call on... There's so many ascending masters. Lord Lanto, Armin Bay, uh, Uriel, uh, which is St. Germain from stuff that I've read. So you can ask these beings... For protection. You can also ask some beings that you've met on the astral plane. Like, I done met some beings on the astral plane. And sometimes, if I just feel like, you know, somebody may be trying to psychic attack me, shit, I call on them. And ask them for some assistance, you know. Because you can't see everything. Here, you probably, you can't see 95% of what's going on on the spirit realm. Or 99% of what's going on in the spirit realm. When you are in your active physical body. So you will need some type of defense mechanism. Unless you have a fully functional pineal gland and you're in your God self. Then maybe or you have, or you've awakened the Kundalini and Uriel, which is the Kundalini, has blessed you with these abilities. Okay? So think about that. But until then, this has been a thorough breakdown of psychic attack and how to defend against psychic attacks. Now it's up to y'all to come out of that box, religious box, and expand your consciousness because many of us have been under psychic attack and push it all aside because religion has not taught anything about it nor of it. Okay? So, again, as I said in a couple of my videos, no one was born with a Bible. We were already born genetically wired 
to be um, attached to the creator itself. And had not it been for the creator being with us, we would never have got here. Okay, so the God is in you. You have seven major chakras. These are the Elohims. You also have Kundalini, the God spark. Okay, and you are consciousness, which is the observer. And this takes on to itself other means of consciousness, which are the seven chakras or seven Elohim, seven lords, seven wills, whatever you want to call it, seven churches, like the Bible call it, the shit just masonically encoded. So it's up to you to look past the veil of ignorance, which is religion. This is what it is. But until then, this is your brother, Mr. Truth Teller, telling it just like it is, based off personal experience. I hope that y'all have learned something from this video. If not, at least you've heard it. So if it may occur in your life, you will know what is taking place and how to defend yourself. Until then, peace.